Hello students, welcome to the session. So in this video, let us discuss about heliotherapy. So heliotherapy, helio means sun and therapy is treatment. So heliotherapy is treatment by using sun's natural sunlight that is called as heliotherapy. So before knowing about the heliotherapy, let us know about how sun is, how much sun is important in our life. So, sun is the nearest star, it accounts for 99.8% of the mass in the solar system and it travelling at 220 km per second. So, sun is the largest mass in the entire solar system and sun it mainly appears in white colour because of mixing of all different colours in the sunlight. That's why sunlight appears white to our naked eyes. And sun, it is mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. So, 70% of hydrogen and 28% of helium is present in sunlight. And sun is 109 times wider than earth and 3,30,000 times as massive. And the sun surface area, when compared to earth surface area, it is 11,990 times larger than the earth surface area and the distance between the earth and the sun it is in astronomical unit and the sun it mainly consists of hydrogen helium iron oxygen and carbon and the temperature in the surface area it is 10,000 degree Fahrenheit and it is more than 28 million degrees at the core that means at the core the temperature is more in compared to the surface of the sun. So we will know why sunlight is important. So as we know all living creatures in the earth they need sunlight for their normal functioning. So every living creature it may be plants, animals or humans everyone needs natural sunlight for normal functioning of the body. So sunlight it is essential for the evolution of life on the earth and visible light is mainly needed for photosynthesis process for the of the plants and sunlight spectrum it mainly composed of infrared light it gives warm sensation to the body and directly or indirectly everyone depends on natural sunlight for the optimum functioning of the body. So let us know about the heliotherapy. So heliotherapy is the use of natural sunlight is called as heliotherapy. When we expose ourselves to natural sunlight it is called as heliotherapy. But exposure to artificial light it is called as actinotherapy. So heliotherapy it is also called as solar therapy or phototherapy and in common terms it is also called as sunbath. So sunbath it can taken by all the people of all the ages and of the both the genders. So there is no differentiation of age and no differentiation of genders for taking sunbath. So everyone and all the people can take sunbath. But the preferable time is early morning or early evening. So early morning preferably 7 am to 9 am and evening preferably 4 to 6 pm. It is the ideal timing for taking sun bath and ten, the duration of treatment it may be 10 to 15 minutes of daily exposure. So if you expose yourself daily then you have the, you can maintain the normal functioning of the body. So there are different types of sun bath. So there are mainly five different types of sun, sun bath. They are ordinary sun bath, Rikle sun bath, Kune sun bath, sun bath with wet cloth and atapasnana. So the five different types of sun bath are ordinary sun bath, Rikle sun bath, Kune sun bath, sun bath with wet cloth and atapasnana. So we will see one by one in detail. So first one is ordinary sun bath. So as the name suggests it is the simplest and easiest way of taking sun bath. That is why it is called as ordinary sun bath. Here the person has to spread a mat on the floor and then he has to lie down under the sunlight 
but here he must cover his head region from the sunlight and when you are exposing yourself to the sunlight you should wear minimum clothing that is called as ordinary sunbath so next is reclaimed sunbath so reclaimed sunbath so it is similar to all other types of sunbath here the portion of the body is exposed gradually so all of you sudden we are not exposing our complete body to the sunlight so here the gradually our we are exposing our different portions of the body starting from the feet so first we have to expose only feet then up to thighs then navel region then gradually entire body we can expose to sunlight that is called as reclay sunbath and after sunbath the patient may sit in shadow for about 5 to 15 minutes so immediately after sunbath he has to take rest in shadow and then the, he can wipe his body with the wet cloth so it is very helpful in case of eczema growth stagnation in children blood deficiency diseases etc so that is called as reclaimed sunbath in reclaimed sunbath the person is exposing his body gradually and next is kunesh sunbath so here patient lies down in sun wearing minimum clothes and the banana leaf he will cover over the head face and navel region and it mainly helps to open the pores of the skin so the precaution we must take here is if the sunlight is very strong we can reduce the duration so normally kunesh sunbath it is taken for 30 minutes to 1 hour so kunesh sunbath it is the main difference is here we are covering the face head and the navel region with the banana leaf so that is about the kunesh sunbath and next is sunbath with wet cloth so as the name suggest here we have to cover the body with wet cloth so before that first we have to lie down on the mat then we have to cover the body so we cover with a dry sheet or blanket so when the body starts producing heat then cover the body with the wet cloth and here also the head must should be head must be covered with the wet cloth and it can be taken for 20 to 40 minutes of duration so that is called as sunbath with wet cloth so as the name suggest here we must cover the body with the wet cloth that is called as sunbath with wet cloth and the last type is atapasnana so as the name suggest atapasnana means covering with the banana leaf that is called as atapasnana here patient must be completely covered with the banana leaves and head must be covered by wet cloth and it can be also taken for 20 to 40 minutes of duration so that so that is about the heliotherapy introduction and the types of heliotherapy thank you